So the axis is fixed. Consider the, the first moment of area. So this axis is fixed. Okay. So if if I'm going to draw a, 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 a green line. If this is the area of concern of interest, okay, this is the area of interest. Then I'm shaded in green. Okay. And point C or C prime is exactly at the center. Okay. okay that is our C prime. Okay. So that area is now defined by the thickness of the area is defined by Z. And then the Z prime, uh, sorry, I should have done this better, my bad. If this is your, if this distance is your Z, okay, to C prime, right, this is your Z bar. Okay, that is your Z bar. Okay, so to find the 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 area, okay, to find the area on the left hand side, to find the area, so area, I will usually take it as uh, width multiplied by depth. Okay, that is the area. So, what is a width and what is a depth? So the area of the, the, the axis of interest is ZZ, right? Because it's IZZ, okay? So when there's IZZ, right? You look down here, this is IZZ, yes? Right? So parallel to the ZZ axis, this geometry over here is your width. This geometry over here is your depth. Okay? Now let's look at the other side now, okay? Let's look at the other side. In the other side, the axis of interest is yy, right? So the, the, the geometry that's parallel to the axis is the width. The geometry that is perpendicular to the axis is the what? Depth. So the area over here is also equal to width times depth. But it's different, you will get different number, okay? Down here, the width will be B, okay? Oh, I mean the number, uh, wait, wait, wait. If we're going to calculate the, the, yeah, it will be different, I'll tell you. So the width is B, right? The depth will be equal to C minus Y. Right, the area of interest, right, is equal to C minus Y. On the other side, the width, right, on the right-hand diagram, the width is now equal to what? 2C. Right? And this will be equal to, uh, uh, will be equal to B over 2 minus by Z. Okay? So let, let me uh, quickly uh, summarize this point, is that, the width geometry is parallel to the axis of interest. Okay. The depth geometry is perpendicular to the axis of interest. Okay, uh, you all have to get this right, okay? A lot of times it get confused between what is uh, IZZ or what is QZ, what is QY, what is IZZ, what is IYY. This is also the confusing part, okay? But 
it is not impossible to define. Okay. So a very important thing to look at is the width geometry is parallel to the uh, area uh, to the axis of interest, right? So what it means if if z z any geometry, let's look at z z, right? This this geometry is parallel. It's going to be the width, right? And then if you look at y y, this geometry is parallel to the axis. It is the width. Okay. Oh, I just repeat <laughs> what uh. Gizel Jonas once, okay? Gizel, is that okay? Or you want me to repeat again? Um, please repeat again. Okay, so ZZ is on the left-hand side. ZZ is our interest. Any geometry that is parallel, okay? Parallel means this is parallel to the axis, right? It's going to be the what? Width. Perpendicular, is going to be the what? It's going to be the depth, right? On the right hand side now, y y is what? Is the uh, is the uh, axis of interest? So anything that's parallel is the width. Any geometry that's perpendicular is the depth. Okay. Makes sense. Thanks. A uh, quick question, sorry. Uh, is that that something the dimensions provided? Say it again. Is that that dimension provided in the question? Yeah. Uh, no. The Z is what you want, where you want to analyze. Okay. Like how to determine where do I want? Okay, Jam is 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 a free country. <laughs> what do you want? So that could be different for everyone. Yeah. Oh. It can be different. Okay. Later on, when I ask you to do failure analysis, you have to determine what value you want. Okay, Chang, don't uh, Chia, uh, Chia Chang, don't worry. Okay. Now you see. Your, the question you ask is based on what you see now. Later on, when we do a problem, right? Then you know uh, how to analyze. Now you don't know yet. This is just the theory, okay? Likewise for Sile, okay? How do we know where is the area of interest? Later on, okay? Later on, okay? If the question asks, okay? So beginning in, in this course, the question will ask, but later on, when you go into week 10, week 11, the question will not tell you. You need to find out, okay? Okay, so you're finished copying, yeah, and I have no. So I, I still need to. So we, we, we have, we have, know how to determine QZ and QY. Next is IYY and IZZ, okay? So I'm going to copy this whole thing because the diagram is still the same. Okay, the next thing is uh, what is. I think you cut it instead of copy. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. I think I'm I copy not very really sure, but, but just double check. Yeah, I copied everything, right? Okay. 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 So the next thing is what is IZZ? Okay, how to determine I, Y, Y, and I, Z, Z. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. So the formula to calculate I, Z, Z. Is equal to width that cube over 12 plus by area multiplied by y bar minus by small y bar. Okay. IYY 
is equal to width times by depth cube over 12 plus by a, right? Uh, z bar minus small z bar, and that's a square. So that is a general formula, okay? I want we all to focus on this first. Okay, I want we all to focus on this. First. The a y bar minus small y bar squared and z bar minus uh capital z bar minus small z bar squared. When we do an example, then you can see this better. Okay. So now let's focus on this. Same rule, okay. What is a width and what is the depth? Okay, so IZZ, the axis of interest is ZZ axis, yes or no? So the width will be B, the depth will be 2C cube over 12. So this will be uh, 8BC cube over 12. And this will be equal to 2 BC cube over 3. Right? Because the width is B. The depth is your 2C. Okay. Now let's go towards the right hand side. Okay, towards the right hand side. So the width, right? The width for this case is your what? Is your 2C. And your depth is your what? B. So this is equal to uh, uh, B cube C over 6. Different, yeah? I, Y, Y is not equal to I, Z, Z. Would the area of interest always be the failure surface where the shear force is applied? Uh, Kadima, later on. Okay, later on. Let's focus on this first. Let's focus on this first. Now, regarding your, your answer over there, is where the maximum shear force will occur. Okay. Okay. So now, now once we, we, we know how to define, uh, uh, define uh, what is your width, what's your depth, how to find QZ, how to find IZZ, things get easier. Okay. Now, the thickness on the diagram of the, on the left, the thickness, you can see is equal to what? B. On the right, the thickness is equal to 2C. Okay. So now you know the thickness also is different. Okay. So the next thing that I want to do, so we, we have to get all this clear first. Okay. Because later on, when we do 3D structures, okay, you need to combine both of them. Okay. Right. So next, we are going to derive. Okay, we will derive after the, the when 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 we, when we start to uh, derive. Okay, then you will you will see the the rules start popping out. Okay, okay. <laughs> so we need to derive. This is all rule one, right? <laughs> we I only write rule one only. Okay, I've not written anything else for now. Okay, okay. So we're going to derive the sharing stress okay. uh, equation that shear xy is equal to uh, 3 over 2a, right? Uh, B Y bracket okay uh, one minus by Y squared over by C squared okay we 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 are going to derive this expression now I want to show you in a university uh, education you need to understand how this formula has been derived. I set the rules based on the number of examples I've done and also based on how this equation has been formed. Okay, 
how this equation has been formed. Okay. It's, it's not like I, I know all of you come from college. In the college, this is the formula. Let's go. Plug it in. We are good to go. The problem is this. You